Welcome to Sage Basil Payroll's Loading a New Employee Master File video. When loading the employee, we advise that you capture as much details as possible, but this video will cover these mandatory fields and it will also illustrate how to load the employee's banking details. Navigate to Edit, Employee Master File. Start typing in the fields. The identified items are mandatory. You can choose a profile for your employee, but this is not mandatory. Any date fields can either be typed in, or you can select the date from the drop-down calendar. Any field with a magnifying glass can either be typed in or you can search through the items by clicking on the magnifying glass. There are various options that can be selected for your postal address types. Please select the option applicable to your employee. Once you save this employee's master file, the pay frequency can't be changed. Please make sure that you select the correct option. You will notice that the bank and branch options gives you a magnifying glass. If nothing appears in your list as yet, click on add and create the bank and branch codes. To make your future processing easier, we advise that you use various universal branch codes. You can add cost centers, job codes and more in a similar way, but these fields are not mandatory. The rates will automatically be filled in once you have processed the salary or wages on the default tab. Click on working days and ensure that you enter the average hours for your working days. In the tax tab, you should fill in as much information as possible but the following fields are mandatory. The loans and saving and the leave tabs can be set up based on company policies, but it's not mandatory for initial setup. Your SIC code needs to be entered. In the statutory tab, you can also set up your employee's medical aid tab if it is applicable to the employee but this is also not mandatory for the initial setup. The Fund tab allows you to set up your retirement options and the skills and equity information should be entered, but these fields are not mandatory for the initial setup. Once everything has been entered, you can save the master file and click on Yes to add the mandatory transactions to your payslip. Thank you for watching our video.